The Crucial MX500 was launched way back in 2018 and since then a lot has happened. First, M.2 SSDs are now a common sight while SATA SSDs are left sort of in the middle, between hard drives and affordable storage devices and high capacity SSDs. The MX500 is available in many variants, capacity wise, starting at 250GB and going as much as 4TB. In this review we will see how good the MX500 is today and how it handles the competition, especially when compared to the newer SATA SSDs. The Crucial MX500 2TB looks exactly the same as it did back in 2018. It has a silver metal casing and a sticker on the front with a label on the back and that's about it for the design. The front label is just decorative and it is identical across the entire MX500 range. When we talk about the pricing, the MX500 2TB can be had right now for 170 US dollars, although at a discount. Before that, you could get it for 199 US dollars. So the pricing will vary. However, for 2TB and a SATA drive with micro and build quality, it's an okay price, but it is quite high when you look at other SSDs, such as Crucial's own P2 M.2 SSD, which is priced in close vicinity to the MX500, which is not that great. The packaging is basic, with a normal cardboard box and an internal clamshell made out of plastic. The protection offered by this packaging is quite good. While not impressive, this type of clamshell is great for protecting the SSD inside. For accessories, you get a user manual and a plastic bracket which has self-adhesive strips on its underside. But enough about the packaging and the design, it's time to see what's inside the SSD and we quickly get a glimpse that the MX500 while not being the newest SSD out there is still a well built SSD. Many SATA SSDs are held together with flimsy clips, the MX500 though has chromed Phillips screws on the sides of the casing. With those removed, we get to see the PCB and what is essentially the SSD. As is the case with most SATA SSDs, the PCB of the SSD is in fact really small. But since these SSDs have to be the same standard format, the 2.5 inch format to be exact, you get this amusing sight. The highlight of the MX500 2TB is the controller, a silicon motion unit, with the model number SM2258H. This is a single call controller that uses 4 flash channels and has an operating frequency of 400MHz. The MX500 2TB has a 4GB DRAM chip which is used for its cache system. This DRAM chip is DDR3 and has a frequency of 1866 MHz. It is made by Micron and has the model number D9SHD. The memory chips used on this drive are made by Micron as well and have the model number DJE2D. A part number which is new to me but this being Micron, it's easy to figure out what these are. A simple Fortis Flash TLC64 layer memory chip. And now that we know what makes the MX500 work, it's time to see how it performs and how it compares to newer SSDs, both SATA and M.2 models. We start with Crystal Disk Mark 8. This is a simple benchmark that is easy to use and reliable. And in this test, the MX500 2TB reached a maximum speed of 561 Mbps for the reads and 516 Mbps for the writing speed. Not a bad result and ahead of the original crucial MX500 500GB. The next test uses the Atto Disk Benchmark, another popular benchmark that is widely used on SSDs. However, this benchmark offers a wider array of results for your test and device, and in this test the MX500 2TB is placed ahead of all SATA SSDs I've tested so far, ahead of the original MX500 or the newer Team Group Vulcan G SSD, and this is the case for the reads, while on the writes, the Goodram IRDM Pro Gen 2 takes the lead. The gaming test uses the shadow of the Tomb Raider video game, running at maximum settings. This test is simple, each SSD will load the same game level and the one that needs the least amount of time is the better SSD. And in this test the MX500 2TB is ahead of the original MX500 and pretty much all SATA SSDs tested so far. 
when we talk about the file copy performance, things get interesting. To test this, a folder that contains files totaling at 100GB is duplicated on the SSD. And as you can see, the file copy process starts off good at 3.37GB per second. However, once the cache of the SSD is filled, the speed drops to 150MB per second and then goes up and down between 220MB per second and 140MB per second. This is a typical behavior of an SSD with a smaller cache. Obviously, if you are using smaller files, then the speed will be higher as you will benefit from an empty cache and the DRAM chip inside the SSD. The crucial MX500 2TB is not a new SSD, however, it can hold its own against the competition and it still is a good choice for a gaming system. However, the issue is the price. While not as expensive as it used to be, the MX500 2TB is expensive when compared to the crucial P2 2TB, which you can get right now for 139 US dollars at a discount. And whatever shortcomings the crucial P2 might have, it's still a better SSD than a SATA SSD in every single way. Mind you, this high price is not exclusive to crucial as other SATA SSDs are in the same price range. What the Crucial MX500 2TB is good for is a notebook that does not have an M.2 SSD slot or an older system or a system that already has its M.2 socket populated. The MX500 2TB is a good SSD and it should not be compared with M.2 SSDs as they are different. One advantage that the MX500 has over an M.2 SSD is the temperature. Many M.2 SSDs will get hot under load. The MX500 though will barely reach the 45 degree Celsius value and that is done with no extra ventilation. If you want a SATA SSD for a gaming system or a laptop, then the MX500 is a great choice. The performance is good for a SATA SSD, and you get the build quality that made Micron the company it is today. However, you must understand the limitation of such an SSD and make your decision accordingly. However, the crucial MX500 2TB needs to be cheaper to stay relevant in a market that is overly competitive. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.